And Daddy, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas at uh, Steve and Zeke's, rather. And we're having a grand, and oh, well, we've eaten so much while we're up here, it's just almost pathetic to think how much we've eaten. Here in now, Lord. <laughs> well, well Drexel, I'll, I'll add a few words here, uh, Otis and Elsie. Well, as she said, we're up at Steve and Zeke's place, and we're having a swell time. And uh, uh, Steve has a uh, recorder here, and we decided to uh, cut a platter and send it off to you, and we all intend to get in on the show here. And uh, we thought we'd have Barbara and Sandy sing the same carol that they sang over the loudspeaker there last, last winter when we were back there. And I believe they're all set to go here now, so we'll have them sing, uh, what is it you're going to sing? Silent Night. All right. got stage struck too. She started in singing pretty good and then she lost her voice. Well, the next member of the show is uh, Ziola here. She's going to take over now. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Rule. This is November 25th. So a week or a month from today, you will be celebrating Christmas. I don't... Butched again. Yes, Steve says butched again. That's right. But we're so glad to have them up here with us now, and we're enjoying them so much, and we've waited so long for them to come. I don't know. I suppose we're getting to the end of this record. Steve never gets in on it, only at the tail end. So you better come and say hello. Oh, he's watching the machine, and he won't come. Dorothy, it's your turn. Yes, it's your turn. Well, I don't know just how much time I've got left here, but... You should see it here, folks. It's more like Iowa than any part of California we've ever seen. It's really beautiful around here, and Steve and Zeke have such a nice little place here. And everything is so beautiful. Plenty of trees, and it's not at all like San Diego. And we saw an Addy yesterday. And I'm going to let Barbara try and say a few words now. She kind of, well, she gets stage fright all the time, so she won't say anything, but maybe Sandy will say hello to you. Hello, Grandma Ru and Grandpa. Yeah, it's all right, Margaret, Martha Francis. I love Margaret and Francis. Tell them that you had a big Thanksgiving uh, turkey. Oh, yeah. yes, we had a big Thanksgiving turkey. With uh, Greggy and Pamela. Greggy and Pamela. And, um... You roller skated and had a lot of fun there? We roller skated and had a lot of fun there. Yes, and we had turkey there, and we've come over here and had big meals about three times a day already. And we're just eating all the time. Oh, we went to the Rose Bowl today, and Stephen Zeke took us around here and showed us some of the beautiful homes in Pasadena. And we're just having the time of our lives up here, and I'm going to let Lawrence talk some more. He can think of more things to say. And if you ever come out here and don't come up to Pasadena again, it's just going to be too bad. Hello, Otis and Elsie. Well, we're finally up here at Stephen uh, Zeke's place in Pasadena. Finally got up here, and uh, uh, Steve has a nice recording machine here, and we decided to uh, cut a platter and send it off to you. Uh, we, this is the second side of the record, and the best side. We started out on the opposite side, noticed, and uh, the uh, needle didn't cut right, so we're going to do it over again now and try to do it right this time. And uh, <coughs> I think we'll all get in on the show here again. Uh, the kids are going to... Are the kids going to sing their carol again? Do they want to... Barbara, do you want to get in on it this time? Hello, Grandma and 
Grandpa. This is Barbara. I wish you a happy Christmas. Well, that's fine, Barb. Sandy, now why don't you say it? Right. in here like you did before. Um, hello, hello, Grandpa and Grandma. Hello, Grandpa and Grandpa. I want to wish, wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, too. Uh, a Merry Christmas for you. Well, that, that covers it pretty well for her, I guess. Uh, is it working okay, Steve? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Steve is going to say a few words to you now. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Rule. Merry Christmas to you. And when are you going to come out and see us? We were sure disappointed that you didn't get up here the last time you were out. You better never let that happen again. Dorothy, come on. Well, folks, there isn't much to, the more I can think of to say. I try to get Lawrence or somebody else to talk here. I know that you probably are having a grand time back there about this time of year, but we've heard it's been pretty cold back around in there, and I'm awfully glad we didn't try to make our trip home this year. But next year we're looking for you out here about this time. Maybe we can all make a trip up here and see Steve and Zeke and Aunt Addie and all of them. And Barbara wants to say something more here just a minute. They have a big piano out in the garage, and I had a lot of fun playing with it. Here comes Zeke again. I think she has a few more words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're trying to talk them into moving up here. They all say they like it real well, but so far I don't think we've made much progress as to the moving. We surely do feel sorry that we didn't get to see you the time before. If we had known you were going back so soon, we would have put forth a little more effort. I think you left sort of sudden-like. I gave Dorothy some of the interstate so she can get brought up to date on all the news around Gary. We still hear from a few people back there. Not too many, though. Who else wants to talk now? Well, last night, Mother, uh, Mary Lisa Palmer, or Mary Lisa, I don't know what her last name is now, was over to see us. You know who I mean. And she brought her seeing eye dog, and the girls were very taken with the dog, but you wouldn't know Mary Lisa. She has turned out to be a wonderful little lady. And we saw Marge and her husband, and she has the sweetest little girl. And we've seen quite a few people up here today. We just didn't want to do too much. I came up here to see Steve and Zeke, and, and uh, we've had just a wonderful visit. And so this afternoon we stayed home and just had a grand time. And Barbara and Sandy said to tell you they saw Christmas Tree Lane up here too. And there hasn't been very much we've missed. Now I'm going to let Lawrence say a few more words. He's standing over here with a know-it-all look. <laughs> Well, I haven't much more to say either, except that uh, we are having a nice time spending quite a quite a weekend up here. We had uh, Thanksgiving dinner with uh, Gladys and Gib Thursday, and uh, and now we're s having a good time here with Steve and Zeke. This is Saturday. I'm I'm all mixed up in my days now, and we will probably leave for San Diego tomorrow morning sometime. We're going to spend the night here with Steve and Zeke. We were here last night, too, of course. And Steve says to say my goodbyes, so that's it. So long, folks. Bye. Bye.